Welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. The core building block of any math application is called a feature, of which an application can have many. A feature is simply a collection of pages or business logic which allow mobile users to complete a discrete unit of work. In this episode, we'll see how you can build a feature and how you can arrange features within a springboard and a navigation bar in your math application. So what is a feature? Quite simply, it's an entry point to application content. Because of the nature of working on a mobile device, application functionality tends to be broken into discrete, standalone, and quickly completed units of work. Each of these units of work can be represented as a feature within an application and each feature would typically comprise of one or a number of pages to complete a task. A feature is in fact a very modular concept and because of this modular nature each feature is developed as a standalone unit but can also be easily reused across applications. And each feature can be independently secured so that, for example, within your application, anyone can access the corporate phone book feature, but a user must log on and be authenticated in order to access the payroll feature. So where do you see these features in your mobile application? Well, features can appear on something called a springboard, a bit like an opening screen or a home page. Now here you can see a springboard showing six different features. People might be a directory lookup. The dashboard might be for viewing some business analytics. And the expense feature is for logging your business expenses. So your application work units or functionality are nicely packaged up into discrete modular units of work displayed on a panel. Again, a bit like the icons on your Windows desktop. So what does a feature typically comprise of? Well, in math, there are broadly three types of content that make up a feature. The first and most commonly used is called an AMX page for application mobile XML. An AMX page is developed for using the rich UI components that Oracle Math provides straight out of the box. They're very powerful and rich, yet simple to use such as list, input fields, date pickers, buttons, and graphs. A feature could be a single page comprised of these components or could be any, or could be any number of pages linked together in a flow called a task flow to allow the user to perform a task. A feature could also point to a remote URL, so a feature might point to a URL such as a corporate help page or web application which can provide the feature functionality. The final op option is if you want to roll up your sleeves and directly write some HTML or JavaScript. You would do that to achieve some application function that you can write in a local HTML file and then deploy that file onto the device and your feature can then point to that. You'll learn more about these later, but these are the basic building blocks of features. So how do you start developing a feature? Well, each application project has a file called mathfeature.xml. OP provides access to this file through the math feature editor. It's in this file you start defining the features and their content. So for these six features you see on the springboard, open the feature editor by double-clicking the math feature editor in the view project under the math node. There you can see each feature that we have defined for this application. People, dashboard, documents, etc. I can add or remove a feature using the green plus or the red X icon. And for every feature, I can define this feature should be comprised of AMX pages, a task flow, a local HTML page, or a remote URL. 
I can also drag and drop content onto the feature node and OP will just create the feature for me. And if you look at the content panel, you will see that you can also define icons that will represent the feature on the navigation bar or the springboard. Okay, so let's have a quick look at creating features in OP. So here we are inside OP. Let's open the Math Feature Editor, which is inside the View Project. Here we can start to define the features that make up our math application. So let's define a feature called People. And a second feature for showing dashboard analytic information. And a third feature will be called Documents. So now our application has three features, so next we'll define the content for those features. So expand the People Feature node and select the Content node. When I click the plus sign now, I can choose the type of content and I'm choosing AMX page for this content. I can create the actual page by clicking the Create icon next to the File field. So let's give it a name. We'll call it People Page 1. And here I can build up the page, but that's something we'll do in a later episode. So for now, I'll close that tab and go to the Documents feature. I'll use the plus sign again to add content, only this time I'll select a remote URL as the content type. Now I'll click the Create icon to create the connection. Let's call it Home and have it point to www.oracle.com. Okay, so the last feature is Dashboard. This will also be in an AMX page, but rather than being a single page, we'll make it a task flow. I can create a task flow here, or I can select a task flow that I created earlier. I'm choosing one I created earlier called Dashboard Flow. So that defines our application. It has three features, People, which points to an AMX page, Document, which points to a remote URL, and Dashboard, which points to a Dashboard Flow task flow. There are two ways that you typically present application features to a user. You can use a springboard or a navigation bar. A springboard can be thought of as your launch pad or home page where you want the user to start. Generally speaking, and since there is more room, the springboard would contain a full set of features your application supports. As you saw a moment ago, you can define icons to distinguish each of the features. You can also decide on various display options for the springboard. Is it displayed at startup? Or can you toggle the springboard so that it slides into an area of your application? In this springboard, you see a feature called alerts and a feature called contacts. In contrast, the navigation bar is much smaller and appears at the bottom of the viewport. Because it's smaller, you tend to show a subset of features. The idea is that it more easily allows the user to switch between features while in the middle of a task. You can have different navbar icons from those used on the springboard. You probably have smaller icons given the limited screen space for icons. And like the springboard, you can define various display options, including whether the navbar is displayed on launch or whether you can toggle it on or off. Here you can see the navbar with the number of features. Here's one called Opportunities. The navigation bar also includes a feature to indicate if there are more features which can't be displayed in the current available space. 
Note that a feature can appear on both the springboard and the navigation bar, or in fact, can appear on one but not the other. That's totally up to you as the application designer. Now let's look in a little more detail at how you define whether your features appear on the springboard, the nav bar, or both. Since the control of where the features appear is something you do for your application, then this is defined in the application configuration file, mathapplication.xml, that I introduced earlier. You access that file through the mobile application editor. Here I have an application with the features I've just defined. I can now decide where those features appear. So let's look at the feature called People. In this case, I have defined that this feature will appear on the navigation bar and the springboard. As you can see, I could have chosen either or both. Controlling if and how your springboard and nav bar appear is an application configuration. Those details are also in the navigation node. For the nav bar, I may choose that it doesn't appear on the application launch, but the user is able to toggle the nav bar on or off using the platform specific toggle feature. For the springboard, I can choose to have the springboard or not, whether to show a toggle button or even customize the size and animation, if any. So in this episode, you've seen what a feature is, what it is used for, and how you might display it on a springboard or a navigation bar. Thanks for watching, and look out for the next episode on this channel.